Hi guys, Chris here, and I'm running Fallout 4 on the Mi Pad 2. This is a request. Now, I'm streaming it. I'm going to repeat that. It's streamed, okay? It's not actually running on the system. It can't run it. So, I have an Xbox One controller here. And I'll just show you if I move to the left. He moves to the left. And how I have it connected is my Xbox One controller is connected up wirelessly to my host PC. Now I did have a few problems getting it to stream and what it came down to was I had to lower my desktop resolution to a 4x3 resolution and then it streamed just fine. So no problem there I think uh, definitely with this wireless AC it's got there that it's streaming this perfectly there's no stutters the music's coming across fine no issues whatsoever. And the other request was if I could check out more uh, USB Type-C adapters. And I've got this Apple Type-1 here that has a USB 3 port. And it has uh, Type-C there for charging. Um, it doesn't charge it when I plug it in. And you can't get HDMI out over it. So overall, it's definitely USB 2, the Type-C port. Uh, so these adapters really aren't going to do much. Now, I did have, when I was back in New Zealand... A, an actual official Apple one, the multi-port adapter. Now that did actually allow me to charge and have a USB port at the same time. So at least that's something. Um, and the the other thing to note that apart from that, I mean this is a really nice little tablet. Okay, it's it's 250 US. It's a lot more than the the usual hundred dollar tablets I have been reviewing, like the Chewy HI8 Pro or the VI8 Plus. Uh, all the other ones there, but you're getting a fully laminated display, uh, very thin. The audio quality on this is excellent. The display's fully laminated, retina display. Uh, the only things that really there's a big flaw that it has is USB 2 port and the fact that you can't get any HDMI out on it and there's no micro SD card support. So if Xiaomi can refresh this design and add uh, HDMI out, just a micro HDMI out on it, and if they can include USB 3 Type-C or 3.1 Type-C if it does support that, that'll be great, and a micro SD card slot, but even even if they don't, then just, you know, it's still one of the best ones I have definitely reviewed for a low-end machine uh, that can run a full OS, so we've got Android and Windows 10, so... Anyway, that is the request there to see if it will stream, you can see, yep, it can stream just fine. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully see you back in the channel with more up and coming videos.